throughout the year, the Japanese tweak the Super Cup to develop with the ages, but then the basic idea stayed unaltered since the presentation of the main Super Cup in 1958. This notable outline even figured out how to wind up plainly the first ever to get a three-dimensional trademark enlistment in Japan. Presently for 2018, Honda has given the Super Cup its shiny new refresh and brings back the round awe-inspiring plan, highlighting LED lights without precedent for the Super Cub arrangement. Pounding propelled innovations with conventional Super Cub styling, Honda has not neglected to glance back at their past to go ahead. To take the step up with scorn, Honda figured, for what reason not we likewise exhibit how the Super Cub will admire with the developing custom space? And our K-Speed traditions. Guided by a basic man who passes by the name Yu, the Bangkok-based workshop has skilled workers who can divert out bicycles extending from the tasteful and reasonable to the out-and-out -out wacky. Every one of their manufacturers tell the truth as one can get and transmit a quality of complexity. They simply cherish swinging it like that. The sawtooth tires give the Super Cub that smooth immediately. To keep things new, yet hold the think back of the legacy, the folks left the lower fairing as it is and slashes off the make of D line for supplant the stock directing bunch. The new custom wing molded handlebars decorate built well incorporated holds and a bike chime. Slick. The fog light just covers its space simply over the front tire settled in a specially crafted nacelle. The dash incorporates custom switches and flips beneath the directing stem that deals with the start and turn signals. The symbol meter helps keep things retro. Discussing which, the V-rubber sawtooth tires are wrapped around a couple of 17x2.50 spoked wheels, and the fork covers get a revamp to grandstand a beefier front appearance, and they accompany LED turn markers on the sides. The wheels get a stealthy hand projectile valve tops. How's that for clever detailings? At the back, the battle gets hurled out, and another custom top bumper keeps things clean. They've cuddled another rush on aluminum swingerm and fastened customizable back stuns to keep things smooth on the ride. The Diablo likewise includes another LED tail light set up directly underneath one of the back stuns while the tag section goes ahead the contrary side. My top choice, notwithstanding, is the cowhide apparatus move appended to the swing arm. How tasteful is that? Specially designed seat gets new upholstery and different sewing in a vertical tuck and move design that synergizes with the handlebar holds. CNC machine foot pegs, ribbed sideboards and a passed out motor sound gives a delightful difference to the mad high contrast paint job that seepages with beguile. To complete things unobtrusively, K-Speed folks got rid of the little flame broil forthright alongside the Honda logo and tossed in new decals to the Super Cub. We don't know whether we can get one or is this the Aglo a coincidental custom work charged by Honda. Whatever it is, is an occupation well done. Serving 100 million glad clients is a very much accomplished point of reference for any business, and no other maker yet Honda could have influenced it to appear this simple. Being the initial bike to cross such a stamp is the Japanese Red Wings Super Cub that started its life path in 1958.